Today we're sitting with Ahmed Saad, uh, killed a small Ford. Unfortunately, delisted yesterday, Ahmed, but obviously you're still at the club. What are the plans from here on in? Um, yeah, so yesterday was a tough day just to know that I got delisted, but it's something that we did speak about and it was one of the plans to go forward and it's obviously for the best interest for the club and, and for myself as well. And the plan is hopefully that we can, you know, pick me up in, in the rookie draft and everything goes, goes okay and I can be back playing, you know, hopefully next year or the year after. So as it stands, you're not on the list, but obviously you are very much still a part of it. Are you, are you still made to feel a part of it by those at the club? Yeah, definitely. The club has been very supportive from day one. Um, everyone around, the players, the staff, coaches have all given me support, call me, you know, pretty much every day and make sure I'm okay. And most importantly, made sure that my welfare and, and my actual health and stuff like that is fine. So, yeah, I, I feel definitely don't feel like I've been delisted. I've been let go by any means. Um, the club's been supportive and, and that's something we did speak about and it was just a plan just to go forward and kind of help out the club as well as help out me. How important is it for you to still have this routine of still coming down to the club, training every day, hanging around your teammates? Oh, it's really important because that's what I love. I've done that for the last two years and there's nothing I enjoy more than coming to the club, seeing the boys and it really does take my mind off everything and it's kind of an outlet so, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter if I'm delisted or not because to me I'm, I'm still part of the club and it's the same, the club um, makes me feel a part and yeah, so it's, it's not like I am delisted and they've let me go, it doesn't feel like that at all. So even though there have been a, a lot of reports about you and a, a lot of reports about everything that's going on at the moment, does the place almost feel like a little bit of a sanctuary that you walk in the doors and, and everyone's still the same as they were before all this came out? Yeah, definitely. The media's going to you know, speculate and say certain things, but you know, like I said, the club, from you know, coaches, um, directors, players, the staff, everyone's been you know, enormously giving me a lot of support. So, yeah, to me to come here, it's, it's like an outlet. I come here, just enjoy myself with the boys, train like I have normally have, and... And just, it just makes everything a little bit easier and, and hopefully everything does work out for the best and I can be back playing soon. Anything, uh, anyone in particular out of your teammates who have you, you've noticed have really stepped up to sort of just lend a bit of a hand throughout this time? I, I, honestly, I can't name names because they've honestly all been great. You know, each time something's happened, there's players that have been really supportive and, you know, I, I can't really name anyone because they've all been great. So it's, it's hard to say one person because I've got that much support from everyone. So it's really hard to pick one. Yeah. So you still have a lot of hope for your football career going forward? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and, and not just me, that has it, the club has it as well. And it's something that I've discussed with them. And, you know, they're, they're keen to keep me on. And hopefully that everything does work out and I can be back playing footy soon. And, yeah, th this doesn't mean my footy career is over whatsoever. So... Alan Richardson was appointed the coach. I understand you've all already met him. What are your first impressions of him? And I understand you may have met him before. Yeah, I was at the Northern Bullens at the time and he was an assistant coach at um, Carlton. So I met him briefly then and today I met him briefly during training and he offered me his full support and he said he's behind me and anything I need I can go speak to him. And So yeah, he seems like a really nice guy and I'm looking forward to working with him. So going by your limited dealings with him before, do you think he'll... He'll make a good senior coach at the Saints? Yeah, I think so. He's got a lot of experience and, um, you know, he went obviously through a pretty tough interview process, as, you know, everyone knows that we had. And, um, yeah, he got through and I'm sure, you know, the club, the club knows what they've done. All right, well, Ahmed, thanks for the chat. No worries. Thank you.